it's become complex, but I think for business generally, put aside uh, for a moment the geopolitical overlay, but for business generally, a predictable regulatory and legal environment is the single most important factor. If regulations change without notice, if the legal environment becomes idiosyncratic in nature, if business doesn't have confidence that the rules under which it operates today will exist tomorrow in the same form and in the same legal construct, it's very difficult for a business to remain in a country. It's very difficult for a business to expand further in that country as it will naturally seek to mitigate risk and diversify outside the country at issue. So for business, consistency, regularity, transparency, uh, and a system in which they feel they can confidently do business are the most critical factors. Uh, if we have the geopolitical overlay, of course, for businesses, both U.S. and Chinese businesses, there is a certain political and government pressure on these businesses, which is not a welcome addition <laughs> to doing business, but is nonetheless uh, now a feature. It's a reality. And businesses have to navigate that, again, as they assess risk. Well, I think having a presence in China is critical uh, for the growth, for the size of the market, for the positive competitive aspect of being in markets that are difficult markets, that are markets that are quite discerning. Uh, you want to be in those markets because it helps you improve. Uh, and so I think business needs to be in China uh, in a way that fr from a risk perspective is comfortable for them. Uh, and I think businesses will continue to be in China. They'll continue to invest in China. That seems quite natural and appropriate.